So let us now see the approach for calculating the returns for stocks. This is very much similar to whatever we saw now. Just we'll quickly cover it. Suppose on a script X, you invest some bulk amount of uh, 10 lakhs on a date. On a 1st of Jan and being a outgo from you, it should be negative. And you are redeeming it somewhere today. Twenty first June twenty twenty one, and the amount of uh, whatever the redemption proceeds is say around nineteen lakhs or eighteen lakhs. So, this is the present value or whatever you have redeemed. So let us the XAR in this case it's going to be a pretty high number. I intentionally took such a uh, gain. So you see the returns is close to 26.85 uh, percentage over a span of uh, say two and a half years. Now let us add a more realistic scenario that you averaged out like every time there was a market fall you averaged it out by buying more of those stocks and it happened in different dates this is happening on 15th august 19 you just invested some one lakh additional investment and since being a negative it should be uh, minus though the formula is still valid and it not show a error we should be very careful in entering this as negative value and then maybe somewhere in uh, 2020 beginning uh, or when the market crashed in uh, December, uh, uh, March month, say month of uh, 23rd March, I think that was the uh, time when the market hit the all time low, all uh, five years low. So maybe uh, 23rd March 2020, I invested another five lakhs additional investment and all this together. Uh, we have a what to say a redemption value or the present value today as on today is going to be around somewhere in uh, 30 lakhs see 30 lakhs so your portfolio return is around a uh, good sum of around 35 percentage so you can see by just adding the uh, rows you can play around with the formula and you can simulate a more realistic scenario say if you have in between a redeemed so example I partly redeemed one month ago so I had redeemed so roughly one month ago a part of the 10,000 part of the 10 lakh and now I have only redeemed 20 lakhs the return slightly uh, was changed the return value has slightly changed part redemption and this is the present value so on you can uh, bring in your own realistic situation and taxation is always there and uh, post also say, say you have made a, a gain of I think the investor amount was close to uh, 16 lakh and you have redeemed around 30 lakh so the gain is around 14 lakhs being a short term it's around uh, 2.1 lakh you have to pay as tax and let us assume that you are paying the same day you sold the final tranche so minus 2.1 lakhs please remember this formula is not covering the taxation so we need to drag the formula and this is more uh, realistic uh, figure of your uh, post tax returns uh, remember i know that uh, up to 1 lakh there is no taxation of dividends and all that I just took a super simple case to illustrate only this uh, formula aspect. So now we will see how to use this formula very efficiently in calculating the returns for real estate in the next uh, slide.